All right, so our cloud functions are working. We've tested it, and it's behaving exactly how we expect it to behave. So what we want to do is we want to implement the cloud functions within our web application so that we are fetching using those functions to make uh, to add to do, to delete, and update our to-dos so that then when we do deploy it to Firebase hostings, it will work exactly as expected. So let's go ahead and start by updating our to-do component, or add to-do component, rather. If you remember, we have this handle submit. We're actually going to copy this because it's pretty much going to do the same thing, except instead of using the client side way of updating Firebase, we are going to use Cloud Function. So let's go ahead and copy this. All right, we can go ahead and minimize that. And we're going to call this handle submit with func. And what we actually, we won't need this anymore. going to do is we're going to grab the func URL, which is over here. Let's see if I can just quadruple click this thing. Let's copy it. Looks like it's working. Get some spaces, so let's make sure we get rid of those spaces. And then this is going to expect the user UID. And it's going to expect the to-do which we'll, we'll fill in here in a second. So if you notice, we no longer need this object either. The to do object. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and feed it the UID, and we're going to feed it the to do. If we go up here, I actually want to check that if there is no auth, I don't want it to run. prevent that we no longer need this instead we're gonna init fetch initialize our fetch request to our funk URL and that should be the gist of it of course after running this we can go ahead and do stuff right but in this case we're going to do stuff down here so it should be okay in fact we don't even need that we can just go ahead and say oh wait fetch there are no any errors we can of course add more error handling we won't do that for this demo and then this update that to on submit using our function submit method looks like it's ready to go but Let's go ahead and test it, see if it does work. Let's save it, and let's fire up npm run dev. All right, our app is fired up, so let's go ahead and test it. Cloud function to do. Let's see. Check that out, it's working. If we go to our database, as you can see, we have both to-dos, which is the cloud function to-do. That's awesome. All right. So now the next thing that we need to finalize this application with is we need to implement the delete to-do and update to-do methods in our web app. So let's do that. Okay. So to implement our delete to-do and update to-do, we're going to want to go to the to-do item. So if you remember, again, these functions right here were the functions that we use client side using Firebase API to do our updates. What we need to do is we need to create two methods that will use cloud function URL via fetch to do those updates. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to make a copy of handle blur. Let to paste that there, and we're going to call that with func. It's going to do the same thing, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to send a new value, and we're also going to send a Boolean value of complete, because if you remember, our function now accepts both the value and the com completed value. So we're going to do that here in just a second. We definitely don't need a reference anymore. 
right? But what we do need is we need a URL. So let's go ahead and grab that URL, copy that, and let's paste that over here. And what we need to do with this one is we need to feed this several items, right? It's going to need the author UID, the ID of the to-do, it's going to need the to-do, which is this new val, and then it's also going to need the current value of complete. So let's go ahead and do that. User UID equals auth. It's going to need a to do ID, that ID, and then it's also going to need the actual to do, which is our new value. So we'll feed that on there. And last but not least, it is expecting the value of complete, which is to do that complete. That should be all of it. So let's go ahead and throw a try, try catch block in here. And let's go ahead and await fetch. Let's call it funky URL just to be consistent. Okay, beautiful. And then Obviously, we could use some error handling, but we're not going to do that because we want to see if this works. All right. And then over here on blur, what we want to do is going to be different, right? We're going to we're expecting this to use this handle handle blur with funk. So let's go ahead and change on blur with that. And it should hopefully work. So let's go ahead and test it. Let's log back in, and I'm going to go ahead and change this to Cloud Funk Update. Zoom out, I mean blur out. As you can see, it's all working properly. We can test that next when we actually implement our handle checkbox with Funk method. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to paste that here. Funk. Again, it's going to use all of the items. It's basically going to use the same code here. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that. The only difference is that to do that to do, and this one is going to be checked. We've updated our on change handle check box with Funk. So if we go here and test it, let's see if it's working. Check that out. Our checkbox is now working using our cloud function. So the only thing that we need to do now is we need to be able to delete a to do using cloud functions. Right now, if I click on delete, this is still using server actions, which again, does not work currently with Firebase hosting. So let's go ahead and set up our delete function, or at least method that invokes the function. Handle delete with func. And what we're going to need is we're going to need a URL for sure. We need to grab the function URL for delete. So let's go do that. Okay, delete to do that and the only thing our delete function is requiring us to send is the UID and the to do ID that's enough to find a doc that is going to be deleted so let's go ahead copy that let's put this in the try catch we don't need that as long as it works that also Okay, the final thing is we need to make sure we are using the method. So let's go ahead and update this method that is currently using the server actions. 
and use our method that leverages the function. All right, it looks like everything is good. Let's go ahead and add a couple more. Okay, and let's go ahead and delete using now our handle delete with func. As you can see, it's working. So we have officially implemented all of the methods that we were using client side or server action wise by leveraging cloud functions. Now that our cloud functions are fully implemented within our web application and it is functional based on our dev end, what we need to do is we need to run build and then deploy it to Firebase and test to make sure that it's working properly. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and run npm run build. All right, now that the build is complete, let's go ahead and deploy it to Firebase. And we are going to deploy hosting only because we are effectively, or we have effectively created a serverless web application. All right, so now that our app is fully deployed, it gives us our URL once again, but let's grab that from our actual Firebase dashboard. So we don't need this dev local host anymore. So let's go to Firebase. And let's go ahead and go to hosting. And from there, it will provide us our URL to the web application that we just deployed. And let's click on it. Front page is working. Let's go ahead and log in. It recognizes that we're logged in. Let's go ahead and add to do's. That works. Great. Let's make sure we can check it. There it is, that works. And let's see if we can delete it. And our delete button also works. We can check that we are using cloud functions by going to Google Cloud. Here's our listing of all of our functions that we have deployed. And if we go to add to do and we go to logs, we can actually see all of the logs in terms of when it was invoked. So as you can see over here, status 200 it also shows you all of the parameters that were passed on so if we click on that we can actually open it up and explore the things about the actual invocation so that definitely is working we go to delete to do we can also see that it's been invoked that we invoke delete to do with a user uid and a to do id if i click on that we can look at it closer with a to do id which is right here and it tells you that the status is 200 and completed correctly or no errors all right so at this point what we have done is we have found a solution to our issues with server actions with Next.js when hosting on Firebase we've created cloud functions to handle the adding the deleting and updating of our to-dos we have implemented it in our web application we have deployed our web app and we have confirmed that it's all working so i hope that you found that very useful it was a long tutorial but i think we covered all of the bases as far as how to implement cloud functions and as a solution for situations like this thank you for watching if you haven't done it yet please subscribe and if there are things that you'd like to learn or want to see please comment on the section below or if there are ways that i can improve i would love to learn from you thank you